Hi, I'm James from Chaosium. I sat down with David Larkins, the writer of Berlin, The Wicked City, a source book and collection of scenarios for Call of Cthulhu. And I talked to him about how he conducted the research for the Berlin book, considering uh, he's not from Berlin, or at least that was my first question to him. I'm gonna jump across to that interview, but first, remember to subscribe to the Chaosium YouTube channel. It helps us out and it lets us make more content like this. Thanks. Well, uh, first of all, you are correct. I am not from Berlin. I have never actually even been to Berlin, which is my dirty little secret. Um, but, you know, it's, I was writing about Berlin a hundred years ago, to be fair. So, um, you know, a lot has changed <laughs> since then to be, you know, to, to oversimplify it. Um, and so, uh, and in fact, during my writing process, it was like, you know, I'd find some interesting landmark and go, oh, that sounds really cool. I'd look at it, I was like, oh, it's not there anymore. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I'll get over there one day. You know, I, I would have been there already were it not for the pandemic, but you know, so it goes. To answer your question, um, you know, it, I don't know, maybe, you know, it might help that I have a, a degree in history, you know, so I, I you know, studied research and, and writing about other times and other places, you know. Um, I don't think that's mandatory for, for folks, you know, who want to um, do, you know, kind of tread similar, similar ground in terms of writing about real locations or, or even like mythical uh, stuff, you know, taken from our own, um, you know, cultural, uh, whatever history you're, you know, choosing to write about. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a bit like the writer's craft, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, if I were writing fiction, I have to be able to imagine all of my characters. I have to be able to look at the, you know, look at the the, the fictional world from their perspective, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, a woman or a, an older person or, you know, even like a child, you know, I have to like try and remember what that was like, you know, um, and, and just, you know, or, or even, you know, if it's a fantasy novel or sci-fi novel, you know, an alien, uh, uh, you know, species or, you know, some other, non-human uh character right so um in a roundabout way <laughs> what i'm trying to get to get around to saying is that for me berlin or really any other um you know type of of location or or setting that i'm writing about becomes a character you know um i you have to get to know the thing that you're writing about whether it's a you know living being or a location or a myth or whatever it is, you have to you have to know it well enough to, you know, sort of embody it in your writing. I love the idea of treating Berlin like a character and how that might have been a foundation for how you wrote the Berlin book. I'd like to ask in terms of details, can you go too deep? Can you try and treat something so authentically or so nuanced at a, at a, with a level of such nuance that in reality you end up getting lost in the weeds or alienating your readership, uh, where's the line there? Uh, yeah, that, that is the trick. Uh, it is absolutely possible to go too far. In fact, even with um, the Berlin material, there was a lot of stuff I, I just had to leave out. Um, you know, writing some of those scenarios, uh, you know, it's like you, you just, it's a little bit like doing a mythos investigation in and of itself. You start with that outer, outer skin of the onion and you start pe peeling the layers back, you know, and it just keeps going, you know, and you're like, you find something new and you're like, oh, I got to include that. That's awesome. You know? Um, but at a certain point, I mean, you know, uh, all credit to Mike Mason, you know, I blew past my word count <laughs> that he hired me for, you know? but I let him know. And I'm like, I need another 20,000 words. And he's like, all right, all right. You know? So, um, you know, but yeah, you, you do want to, uh, tap the brakes at a certain point. And, um, you know, I, I think, honestly, I think there's a lot to be said for writing what you know, you know, and I, I've definitely written other material that's a lot closer to home, you know, like for where I live or where I grew up, you know, both professionally and like for my own, you know, home games and whatnot over the years. Um, but I think there's, you know, when you're writing about a place that you're not from, um, but you're interested in, uh, you know, that can actually be a good thing because you're kind of looking at it from that outsider's perspective and you kind of have this feel for like, all right, well, 
what are my fellow like non-Berliners going to be interested in, in, in knowing, you know, whereas if I, you know, was from Berlin, I might be like, oh, everybody knows that, or, you know, take that for granted, or of course you want to know about this. And it's kind of like, no, not really, you know? <laughs> so, you know, that's, um, so even if you're writing about something that you're much more familiar with, I think definitely try and do that exercise of like sort of objectively taking yourself away from that material and looking at it from an outsider's perspective, you know, just role play that you are, you know, um, you know, a, a, an 18 year old who, you know, is just getting into gaming or whatever, you know, and, and this is like maybe the third source book you've ever bought, you know, is it going to be accessible? Is it going to be comprehensible? You know, is it giving that person everything they need? I'd like to talk about Berlin specifically for a moment. Mm -hmm. And Berlin, obviously, writing about Berlin in the, you know, 1920s and early 30s is a difficult and uh, kind of fraught thing to write about. How did you balance how much detail you needed to go into and maintain a level of cultural sensitivity around what you were writing? Um, yeah, that was that was a topic of, of a lot of discussion when the book was, you know, sort of uh, in its conceptual stages, you know. Um, I This was back when I was freelancing, it was before I, I was working for Chaosium. So I, I was meeting with uh, Mike, I was meeting with Jeff Richard, uh, who was living in Berlin at the time. And, um, you know, that was absolutely something we talked about. And, and one of the things we all agreed on was like, you know, we want, we very much wanted to show with the book, like, this is not 19, like mid to late 1930s Germany. This is a completely different time. Uh, and, you know, there are a lot of different political factions and there are a lot of different, um, you know, social groups, cultural groups, you know, um, you know, in, in, a, in a sense, that was kind of our core mission was to really uh, communicate the diversity of the city at the time, because I think it, it does tend to get a little lost as we're looking backwards through time and the sort of, you know, telescoping effect of, of looking back through the through the 40s and the 30s, you know, it, it, it colors what was going on before then. And, and really, you know, what I would what I keyed into in terms of like, communicating, uh, you know, the sort of mundane horror of the setting. And I've definitely heard this from folks who, have, you know, run the scenarios from the book and read the book, um, is that for everyone at the table, you know, you as a player, you know, what's on the horizon. But it's not like that right now in, in, in the moment that you're playing in. So it's there's a sort of existential doom that hangs over everything because it's like, wow, OK, uh, you know, we're, we're sort of in this uh, OK place, you know, until the mythos comes along and messes everything up. But, you know, we're, we're OK right now. But we know we know that, like, you know, things are just really going to fall apart in five years or two years or whatever it may be. And it, it, it apparently it, it really comes across for folks, you know, when they're playing in that setting. So, what was the hardest thing for you to learn about and then to write about? Whether from you know an availability of information perspective, from a cultural nuance perspective, from just a difficulty perspective, love to hear it. <sighs> the hardest thing. Um, yeah, that's the thing. It's uh, uh, you know there is actually a lot. There's a lot of information available about Berlin uh, in that period, which um, I was extremely lucky. Um, you know, I've, I've worked on some other materials for Call of Cthulhu that are, that are still in the publication pipeline that, uh, you know, were a lot more difficult to access uh, information about. So that was never really a problem. I think, um, if I'm thinking about it, yeah, I, I would say it was, it wasn't so much finding the information, it was when I would find the information. So sometimes I'd have a question about a particular part of the city or, uh, you know, the location of something. Um, and, I, and I couldn't find it. You know, I, I, I swear I'd look up and down and sideways and it just wasn't anywhere. And then two months later, I would find it. And sometimes I was able to go back and correct it. There's one thing that really, you know, will, will always be stuck in my craw, 
which is that um, in one of the scenarios, you know, I'll avoid spoilers. I'll just say in one of the scenarios, there's a bookstore and I could not find, it was a, it's an actual bookstore that existed. I knew that much, but I could not find out where it was. I couldn't find the address anywhere. And so I was like, well, I'll put it in this part of Berlin because that kind of fits with the scenario. Okay. And then after I submitted the manuscript, maybe even after it was published, I found the address. And I was, and of course it's on completely the other side of the city. I'm like, don't, <laughs> you know, now, of course, does that matter? No, it's actually probably better that I put it where I did because, you know, it makes it easier to get into the scenario with it. Uh, but, you know, as the author, it bugs me. 